dear viewers uh, today's uh, lecture would be related to uh, nand and nor gates acting as universal logic gates now let's see how we can uh, prove prove whether the nand and nor uh, can really act as universal gate or not let's see uh, about the nor as universal gate well to prove it as universal logic gate we need to realize or and and not functions using nor gate so to realize a uh, not gate using no, using nor gate what we can do is we we have to first write the boolean expression for the not function which is let's say the input is a so we'll get the output as a bar so this is the symbolic representation of a not gate and input is a so obviously the output will be a bar now we can write this as a or a whole bar because if we extend this to another a it means the same thing so this can be uh, this can be redrawn as this where where both the inputs of the nor gate are tied together and we have uh, denoted that as a so whatever input we provide here whether it is 0 or 1 0 will get into both the inputs 1 will also get into both the inputs and we will get the opposite of it so if we if we put a 0 here we'll get a 1 at the output if we get a 1 here we'll get a 0 at the output so this is now acting as a not gate now let's see how to realize the or function using nor gates we know the expression for uh, or is a or b now we can extend this and uh, write rewrite the expression like this where we are using double bar double bar and this particular expression and the previous expressions means the same thing we are actually using the property of double negation and uh, taking the bottom one and taking the bottom one uh, see see if you if you look into this what we are doing right now is we are trying to make a or out of nor so what we did is we used the property of double negation so when we use the property of double negation the this expression and this expression means the same thing so using the uh, bottom bottom portion of this we can uh, we can realize that using a single nor so when we uh, give the inputs as a and b will get an output as a or b whole bar so again if we invert this will get y equal to a or b double bar so the double bar means it gets cancelled and we get a or b so this is how we realize a simple or function using a nor gate now let's move on uh, to the realization of and function using nor so here again uh, we'll take the expression of a nand uh, a NAND logic gate we uh, we get the output as a and b and if we go for double negation uh, we can rewrite this in this form and considering the lower whole bar that is a or b whole bar and applying de morgan's theorem we can rewrite this expression in this form as we all know a and b whole bar can be rewritten as a bar or b bar using de morgan's law so this expression has been changed into this now what we have to do is we will have to complement the variable a using a not gate we will have to complement the variable b again using a not gate but we will not be using the not gate but we'll use the nor gate and use it as a not gate 
and finally we will have a NOR gate. So let's first implement the NOT gate which will complement A. Here we will uh, tie both the inputs of the NOR gate. We will get a A bar at the output of this NOR gate. Similarly, we will tie both the uh, inputs of this NOR gate and uh, connect it to B and at the output we will get B bar and when both this inverted inputs are applied to the NOR gate we will get the output as A bar or B bar to whole bar. This is nothing but an AND function and or uh, actually we are realizing a AND gate. Now let's move on to NAND and try to prove it. it's a universal logic gate. So to prove it as a universal logic gate, we need to re again realize the three basic functions or and and not. Uh, we have to remember uh, these are the uh, these are basic logic gates and these are functionally incomplete. So we have to if we have to prove any logic gate which behaves as a universal gate, then we'll have to prove all these three functions. Now, uh, in order to do that, let's consider the NAND gate. And uh, again, we will try to realize the NAND gate, uh, realize the NOT gate using a NAND gate. And here we will do, we'll take the expression of uh, a NOT gate. Again, we can see the symbolic representation of a NOT gate. We'll extend it to another another variable which is the same and and uh, we can uh, do this by tying both the inputs of the NAND gate together so whatever we get at the output is just the complement of A. Now let us uh, try to realize the AND function using NAND uh, we we know that the and, NAND is nothing but AND followed by a NOT. So we somehow have to uh, remove that in order to get uh, AND get out of NAND. So what we'll do is we'll first take the expression for AND. We know this. We'll use the double negation. And when we use the double negation, uh, we can actually, uh, it is the same thing as the previous expression. Now, what happens is, uh, this means, uh, the next expression means we have a NAND gate and its output is again complemented. So, so we have a NAND gate having the inputs A and B. The output is A and B whole bar. When it is again complemented, we get a AND gate. So, this circuit is actually uh, realizing a and function. Now let's move on to the next where we are making or realizing a OR function using NAND gates. So we know the expression as A or B. Now the expression of OR gate uh, will again use a double negation and we will use the lower bar along with the variables and, and, uh, and use the de Morgan's law uh, to change this into a bar dot b bar. So when we do that, again, since we are implementing it using NAND gate, we obviously have to have an AND function in the expression. So in this, we can see that we will need a complement, a NOT gate, which will complement the variable A, another NOT gate, which will complement the variable B. So in order to do that, we'll have to realize the NOT function using the NAND gate. And then again, we'll need a, another NAND gate to realize the OR function. So let's see the logical circuit diagram. First of all, we will take the NAND gate, tie the, both the inputs and connect it to B and A. And we'll get the out complemented output as A bar and B bar. Then we will connect that to another NAND gate and we'll get the another uh, that is uh, we'll get a bar dot b bar and its whole bar which is nothing but a or function so 
in this particular uh, uh, discussion and in this particular session we have seen how we can uh, realize the basic functions that is uh, not or and and using nor and nan gates hence we can say these nan and nor gates are universal logic gates thank you again for watching this video stay tuned for the other videos related to digital logic and circuits thank you thank you very much